Welcome to the CAUIM Configure Alarm Forwarding and Replication video. In this video, I will show you how to forward alarms from one NAS probe to another. As a CAUIM product administrator, you might need to deploy more than one NAS probe in your environment. By default, the remote NAS probe will not forward alarms to the primary NAS, which means that you will not see all of your alarm data in UMP. To correct this, you must configure alarm forwarding on the remote NAS. This way, alarms received by the remote hub will automatically forward to the primary hub. Before I begin, keep in mind that to configure alarm forwarding, you must download and install Infrastructure Manager. Infrastructure Manager is required to configure the NAS probe. You will also have to ensure that both the alarm enrichment and NAS probes are deployed and active on your remote hub. To begin configuring alarm forwarding, I log into Infrastructure Manager and navigate to the robot where my remote NAS probe is deployed. I then select the NAS probe Right-click to open the Configuration menu, and select Configure from the menu. After that, the NAS GUI opens. I then click on the Forwarding and Replication tab. Here, I will add a new definition by right-clicking in the main window, and selecting New. The NAS Forwarding and Replication window opens. I select my primary hub as the destination alarm server, then select the All Events to Destination, One Direction option. I am done entering information in this window, so I click OK. My new forwarding route now appears on the Forwarding and Replication tab. If I had configured additional NAS probes to forward alarms to this NAS, I could have also selected the Relay Forwarded Alarm Events option. This ensures that any alarms that were routed to this NAS are forwarded to the primary NAS. Since I am done configuring my remote NAS, I click Apply, then Yes when prompted to restart the alarm server. The remote NAS will now forward all alarms to the primary NAS. For more detailed information about NAS, refer to the CA DocOps platform, or visit the CA UIM community to join in the discussion. The links can be found in the YouTube description located below this video.